this yeah. is great stuff because I think what happens is a lot of people let outside influences impact their thinking about how much business they're capable of doing. And yet when you really break it down to each single customer who comes in that you create an opportunity with, you really have a chance to do more business than you did before. And that's what you prove every time you go in. It's not about you didn't run an event, you didn't have markdowns that, you know, we're going to, you know, sell markdowns. It's really all about creating the environment to do more business and getting training people up to be able to do that. So one of the things that happens after you leave is that the business continues to grow. I mean, their metrics may not be as good as when you got there, but they continue to build and grow after you leave. So um, talk a little bit about how you're able to create some of that sustainability. Yeah. I mean, you know, sadly, it, it you know, it, it doesn't happen everywhere because, you know, they, they have to keep it going. That's that's the difference. Yeah, the, you have the, to... the owner's got to be bought into yes. the process. Right? Yeah. 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 And but I, I think like, yeah, because, you know, I won't be there. And and I always say that, look, I'm an extra person on the floor, right? And I am a more senior salesperson. So, and they're, everybody's going to be at their best, right? Like when I'm there, everybody's focused and they're not doing other things. So I think like if, if they can keep it going and they, I try to break it down into those steps of like greeting in an open way, getting their name, sampling the product, building the fitting room, you know, um, don't close too soon, you know, like, we didn't talk about that. I don't know if we'll talk about that, but like, they love that. They love to go behind the counter and start getting it ready. Like the clients will be in the fitting room and they'll say like, oh yeah, I'll take these three things. And then they go behind the counter and they start to get the tissue paper ready. And then when the client comes in, they're like nice behind the counter waiting to close the sale. The owner um, did that. And, and it was shocking that it was so good because we had a client at the cash counter and we were we were actually, Tracy, the owner was ringing her and she like strayed, you know, for a second. And I said, and and she looked back at the owner and said like, oh, I'll be right there. Like she's telling the customer, like, the, I mean, the customer's telling the, the owner basically, oh, I know you're waiting for me. I know we have to ring me up, but like, give me one more second. You know, so it's these little things that you do that send a signal to the client, like, okay, it's time to go. Like, I want to move on to something else, you know? Yeah, that so psychology like, of hurry to close just doesn't make any sense. Yes, yeah. So it's these little steps that that I train right on. And then if they keep practicing it over time, I